The three UFO videos released by the Pentagon this week must look awfully familiar to those who follow the UFO issue. That's because they were already released by the Department of Defense. The man responsible for getting them released back in 2017 is former intelligence officer Lou Elizondo. He asked for and received clearance from the Pentagon to make them public, and they've been viewed millions of times all over the world. Did Elizondo step over the line by allowing the public to see the now iconic images? So, first of all, I, I didn't release the videos, okay? Uh, it's a, another, I think, right. common uh, misconception. The videos were released by the Department of Defense. The Department of Defense made the decision to release them uh, and, and at the unclassified level, and the D Department of Defense, through the Department of Defense adopts her process, approved the release for exactly the reason why the request was made. So it was completely on the up and up. Since the videos were made public, the Pentagon has issued multiple contradictory statements about UFOs and the secret program that studied them. The new statement this week is just the latest backtracking. The twisted tale of the UFO videos and how they made it out to the public, an exclusive on mysterywire.com. I'm George Knapp.